Too young, too old, too ugly, perfect. In the good old times, we, men, had to get a girl the hard way. We had to find a castle, kill a dragon, try not to get killed by the plague, walk up all the way into the tower and take her home. And nowadays we can just conquer a girl from our modern day castle, our bed. And yet, dating is still becoming harder and harder and harder. And that's all because of the tool that we have. Tinder. Today I'm not going to talk about the fact that every guy on Tinder just likes every girl and the fact that girls can be very picky because every guy likes them anyway. I'm going to talk about Tinder in the same way that Walmart gives us too many options of stereotypical fat Americans in a mobility scooter to laugh with. Today I'm going to talk about the paradox of choice. Welcome to Brains Applied. In life there are two kinds of people. There are the satisficers, those who just take life as it comes and who are satisfied as soon as something is good enough. And there are the maximizers and those people are the perfectionists, the people that always want the best thing. And unfortunately also the people who have the most regrets. In his book Dan Ayerly described an experiment in a supermarket. In the supermarket they put up a stand with six different kinds of jelly and another stand with 30 different kinds of jelly. The stand with 30 kinds of jelly got way more attention from potential consumers. But the one with 6 kinds of jelly sold much, much, much more. The reason why the stand with 30 kinds of jelly got so much attention is that we like to think that more is better. We like to have as many options as possible to choose from and we like to have as many options as possible in our devices. This is for example why we buy a washing machine with thousands of options that we never use. Because we might use it one day. And especially maximizers tend to suffer from this ID. They like to have as many options as possible to choose from so they can find the one thing, the one girl that exactly fits their needs. And in some cases this is true. For example when you specifically want a blonde girl with blue eyes who is a princess. The thing is that in this case you're not a maximizer, you are a satisficer. Yes you set really high requirements, but you don't go below them. Either a girl is blonde with blue eyes and a princess or you, she's not for you at all, you don't even have to think about it. Maximizers are the people that don't know what they want and yet they still want the thing that is perfect for them. The more options we have, the more we and especially maximizers start to overthink things. And the more we overthink, the more we start to think how we might like that girl, but also that one, and also that one. And this is the problem. As soon as you start overthinking, you start thinking about how you might enjoy multiple girls and you can choose. You don't want to go all in on one girl because you might regret not having another girl. And in case you're just buying jelly, it's fine, you can buy multiple kinds of jelly. But unless you are a rich oil dude from Saudi Arabia, you are probably not able to buy multiple wives. Because of a very simple reason. The first wife might not like the other ones and you probably don't have enough camels to buy them anyway. As we have so many options we start doubting more and more and more and we might even start to date girls that are totally not our type. And whereas we just used to date one mademoiselle in the past, we now need to spread our attention simultaneously over different persons. And this is way more exhausting and it will decrease our motivation to just invest time in one proper decent person. And when we finally make the big decision, we value the things that we have less. 
we start doubting about how the other girl might have been more fun anyway. Or we start thinking about how we might not have even met our one true love. In the end, this means that we are more likely to reverse our decision and to end our relationship. To make it all even worse, there is something of which you might have heard, something called social media. And on social media everyone posts pictures of their perfect partner and their perfect relationship, hashtag relationship goals. And this raises our expectations. And as we become pickier and pickier and have higher and higher and higher expectations, this is very likely to result in disappointment. Because maximizers tend to doubt more about their decisions, their life and their relationships, they are more likely to suffer from regrets and they are more likely to have lower self-esteem. And this inevitably leads to being less happy, being less optimistic and having higher chances of becoming depressed. The one thing that we can do is to realize that the perfect boyfriend or the perfect girlfriend doesn't exist that they will always have flaws and that we shouldn't look for the best person out there because there isn't any best person. You might meet some people in your life with whom it doesn't work out but if you always keep looking, if you always keep searching, it will never ever work out. And that my friends is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video, if you did press the like button and of course as always don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.